Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm talking about my two favorite subjects in the whole wide world, and that is minimalism and money. Now, as you guys would have heard, the Marie Kondo effect has like swept the world. We are decluttering our homes, simplifying our lives, living with lightness, consuming less, considering the environment more, and just being so much more organized. And there are so many beautiful blessings that have come from this. So today I wanted to talk to you about minimalism and how to mari condo your own money. It kind of sounds counterintuitive, minimalism and money, because it means less money, but actually no. By minimizing your money, it actually means so much more efficiency, so much more clarity and vision and understanding of where you stand financially, and best of all, the clarity and vision as to what you want to work towards. Now, before I launch into this video content, I also want to let you know I have a Minimalism May playlist coming up. I've got about 10 different videos around minimalism which I've been making for you over the last six months about how to apply minimalism in your life so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please make sure you do but much 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 more importantly switch on that notification button so you know the moment these minimalism may videos start being published all right let's get cracking with Marie Kondoing our finances for minimalism and money number one is to group your items together just like Marie Kondo recommends that you put all your clothes together or all the kids toys together you should be doing exactly the same with your money and that comes to your budget have a budget and budget all the like items together so you know what that group actually costs for example you would group together all the kids expenses so education expenses tutoring sports equipment uniforms clothes pocket money group all those like items together you do exactly the same with pets you do exactly the same with the household expenses so for example you would group together utilities gas water home insurance Netflix, pay TV, all the things that relate to the house. By doing that, you can clearly see how your income and your expenses are grouped together and what are the most expensive ones, which then leads me on to step number two, and that is to start culling. My money mantra is to only buy what you love, value, use, and appreciate. As you are now going through your neatly organized budget in all the grouped categories, go through and ask yourself, do I really love this? Do I actually use this? Do I appreciate this and do I value it? And if you can, try and either cut it out completely or try and cut it down. Step number three for minimizing your finances and embracing Mari Kondo in your wallet, and that is to embrace the cashless society. So many financial advisors and including myself say to people, try and use cash because when you use cash, you tend to spend less because it physically hurts watching the money come out of your wallet. I'm actually going to go against what I've said in the past. I'm going to say embrace the cashless society if you love minimalism. This is actually my wallet. It is a really teeny tiny wallet and inside I just have the bare essentials. I have my driver's license. I have one credit card. I have one ATM card. I have one frequent flyer program and that is pretty much it. I don't carry any coins. The coins I only have is in actually in my car for parking meters and I don't really carry any notes. I actually happen to have a note in here because I did some market research the other day for a thousand dollar project and they paid me cash so I haven't banked that yet but I don't waste my time fiddling and fumbling for coins and notes at the bottom of my handbag because they simply it's waste time and my time is far more precious what I do instead is embracing the cashless society I simply use my phone so at the back of this phone I have a pay tag now most banks have cashless payment methods and this one which just flipped across the room. Uh, Monkey, can you please pass me that? Thank you. This is my pay tag. It sits on my phone behind my vegan case. Whenever I go to pay for something quickly, whether it be a, a coffee, whether it be some banana bread or a muffin, I just literally, if it's under $100, I can pull out my mobile phone, tap it, and I've paid, and I just have to wait for my coffee or whatever I've ordered. It is so efficient and so easy, and there is never that awkwardness, oh my gosh, I've left the house and left my wallet at home. I can always pay for things. And this is linked to my savings account, so I'm never getting into credit. 
credit card debt. It is so easy. And now being cashless, I can actually see how I'm spending my money. So I can go back to my budget and make sure I'm sticking to my budget. I'm spending within my boundaries of my budget and I'm on top of my financial goals. And I can, because it's cashless, everything is documented. Whereas with notes, I couldn't tell you where that other $50 went. The next thing is to prioritize your finances. Marie Kondo says that when she goes into her home, before she enters the room or the house, she actually takes off her shoes and pays homage to the space. This is also something you should be doing with your finances. When we get stuck in a rut where we're like, I don't have enough money, I'm so broke, I'm so poor, poor me, we stay in that place. We don't experience any opportunities or see any opportunities, we don't experience any breakthroughs or shifts. When you stop and be grateful for what you have, even if it's the smallest thing, like $1 in your bank account or $100 less in debt, be grateful for what you've got because what you appreciate, appreciates. Now what I do every morning, every night is I go through my bank accounts, I check my transactions to make sure I'm on top of my budget and I'm staying within the budget but I also spend a couple of minutes just or even a couple of seconds being grateful for what I have built so far and how far I have come and that immediately shifts me into a much happier and healthier headspace where I can see opportunities to earn extra money and I'm grateful for those opportunities and then from that more and more opportunities flow in towards me so pay homage and respect and gratitude towards your finances and remember what you appreciate appreciates the next step to Marie Kondo your finances finances and that is to declutter distractions. Go through your social media feeds, go through your email subscriptions, go through your routines. Maybe you tend to walk home via the shopping mall. Make sure you remove those distractions that make you spend money on wasteful things out of your life. Now I'm not saying you can't go shopping anymore and you can't subscribe to your favorite shops, but just have a couple of shops that you really love. I literally have three to five favorite shops that I follow on social media and that is pretty much it. I do not waste my energy being sucked in, taken down a garden path, a vortex of time, which completely takes me against all my financial goals and my financial progress. So anything that makes you spend money on a, in a wasteful way, whether it be infomercials, whether it be Instagram, whether it be following certain people on social media, even Facebook that are always shopping and dining and, and you kind of get sucked into this, I want to be live that, my life like them. Just get it out of your life. Start living your own journey, your own path and your own adventure and feel good about it. The next thing is to get organized with your finances. One of the greatest things about Marie Kondo and what she's given people is she's helped them organize their lives. They know where things are kept. They know where to put things away. They know where to quickly find those things so that they don't waste precious time. Now, what I recommend with your finances is you get organized. So for example, I have a folder, which I've shared with you on, on one of my other YouTube videos where I put all my warranties together. Whenever I buy something, whether it be a vacuum cleaner, whether it be a new air conditioning unit, I always put all the warranties together. So if it ever breaks, breaks, I can check to see if that item is still under warranty and it won't cost me money in getting it fixed or I know exactly who to call to get it fixed. This is incredibly important and if I ever go into on sell like on the second hand economy that item the fact that I can sell that item with the warranty and ideally also the receipt means I'll probably get a better price for it. So keep a folder just a basic A4 folder with plastic sleeves and slide those warranties and if you want to take it one step even further just simply take a photograph or scan it and save it electronically. There are also so many fantastic apps where you can save all your receipts for your personal tax returns. You don't need to be saving all those teeny tiny fiddly little receipts that like float around and distract your life. You can actually do this for yourself by using the apps, taking a photograph, putting it in a recycling bin and knowing that you're organized. And then my final tip for you guys for Marie Kondoing your finances is everything should have a place. Just as Marie Kondo says, all the things get grouped together in the right place that's convenient and accessible. Your financial goals should also have their own dedicated savings account. So if if you have a savings goal of a holiday, you should have a dedicated savings account nicknamed holiday savings account. If you have a financial goal of saving up for your deposit on your first home, you should have a dedicated savings account where it's nicknamed home deposit savings. This is incredibly important because you know exactly when you get spare money or extra money or earn money, exactly where to put it away and you put it away quickly and you know exactly what it's for. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because this Minimalism May playlist is coming coming up very soon and you are going to love how many videos are going to be coming up for the month of May and they are around food, they're around more money, they're around lifestyle, they're around distractions, they're around handbags even. Uh, makeup, I have Chloe Morello filming one of my videos with me so it's really exciting so make sure you've switched on the notification button as well as subscribing. Alright everyone, thanks for watching, ciao!